All right, you guys, happy Monday. Good to see you, Eva, Tina, Dan and and Chris. Let's go into the app or let's get into the chat and let's talk about what is going on this morning. So we do have one minute of cardio. So let's start thinking about what are we gonna do? And then that warm up, we're gonna do four sets of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of body weight good mornings and mountain climbers. So just kind of as a reminder, you guys, when we do the good mornings, widen up your base, pull your hips back and then lean forward, keeping that back flat. And then we'll go ahead and stand up. So it's hamstrings that we're hitting, okay? Then we'll hit that back. All right, you guys, well, let's get ourselves in position. Give me that thumbs up if we're ready on your side. All right, well, here we go in three, two, one, and begin. All right, everybody. Well, we are kicking off our Monday, right? Little self-care before the day takes over. All right, so thinking about your intentions today, everybody, right? We have one minute of cardio, we'll have four minutes of the remaining warm up. So think about what do you want to accomplish today? Morning, Stan. I have the workout in the chat for you, Stan. Just added it so you can see it. So we got one minute of cardio. In about 15 seconds, we're gonna go into body weight good mornings, meaning we're not using any weight, we're just using our body. And then we're going to take it to the floor and do mountain climbers. All right, here we go. We're going to transition in three, two, one, and here we go. We have 20 seconds of body weight in the morning. So go ahead and get right into it. Take your time, you guys. We're not trying to rush this movement. So widen your base, pull your hips back. You want to feel those hamstrings. And three, two, one, rotate. All right, let's go ahead and take it to the floor. We're gonna go ahead and do some good, uh, some mountain climbers in three, two, one, begin. All right. So spent some time in Reno this past weekend. Knocked out a couple of our workouts, knocked out Friday's workout that we did. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, let's get right back to those good mornings. In three, two, one, begin. Yeah, we did, I did Friday's workout that we did on Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday, woof, that was rough. And then did Sunday's workout yesterday on Sunday. So if you guys need a good one to come back to, that one will not disappoint. Three two and rotate. All right, guys, let's go right back to the floor, right back to your mountain climbers. Three, two, and begin. Five more seconds. In three, two, one, rotate. All right, going right back to some good mornings in three, two, one, begin. In three, two, one. Rotate. All right, let's take it right back down to the floor for some mountain climbers. Three, two, and begin. Just nice and smooth, you guys. Doesn't have to be a running. It can be nice one step at a time. Three, two and rotate. 
All right, last one, you guys. Good mornings. Two, one, begin. Cool. So just got your message, Tina. Yeah, just nice smooth stretches, right? Just whatever feels good. If it doesn't feel good, we'll kind of abort the movement and we'll try something else. All right, let's get one more and rotate. All right, here we go. Let's take it right back down to the floor, you guys. One more set of mountain climbers. And then let us begin. Two, one, begin. All right, come on, keep it moving, you guys. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, well, let's do this. You guys grab some water with that whistle real quick. And then we are gonna go over what we are doing for today's strength. Okay, well, we're gonna start you guys with a 12 minute EMOM. So it's every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. And we're gonna go with three movements. Movement number one is gonna be a single leg Romanian deadlift. It simply means like a straight legged deadlift and we're gonna balance on one leg. We're then gonna go ahead and use a dumbbell or no dumbbell, I'm gonna let you guys choose this. We're gonna go with some good mornings. And then we're going to do dumbbell slides. Okay, so let's go over this real quick. Make sure we're all on the same page. And we're gonna go with a single leg Romanian deadlift. I'll give you the side view. And again, we're gonna be balancing on one foot. My left hand's gonna to touch my right toe. And then I'm gonna stand up. Okay, so we're gonna do this for 25 seconds. After that 25 seconds, we're gonna rotate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the next side, okay? Now, options for the good mornings with the dumbbell, you can put it on your back, pull those hips, like widen up that base, pull those hips back. And again, we're really focusing on those hamstrings. We wanna keep that back flat. And then we wanna stand up, okay? Then we wanna stand up. Now, the hamstrings are gonna be the focal point then the glutes, then the back, but don't let the back be the focus first, right? Hamstring, glutes, then back. Then when it comes to our dumbbell slide, we're gonna get in that push-up position. We've done this before. Right hand's gonna reach underneath. It's gonna pull it to the outside of your shoulders. And then my left side's gonna get it, grab it underneath, okay? So again, you don't have to like, reach really big. I was just kind of wanting to show what that's going to look like, but just reaching underneath, keep that midsection tight. You'll get a little bit of that transverse rotation. So really keep that midsection tight and then just pull it outside of the shoulders and then we'll swap hands. Now we're going to work for 45 seconds for the last two movements. The first movement we're doing 25 seconds of each side. Okay. All right. And the only thing that we're going to be scoring today, guys, is going to be weight whatever dumbbell you guys decide to use for the dumbbell slide. And if you guys are going to use for the good mornings, we can use the same one. All right, you guys, we're going to take our time. Let's get ourselves in position. Give me a nice little flex if we're ready on your side. All right. Okay, guys, here we go. Body weight, single legged Romanian deadlifts. Ready? and begin okay so we're here for 25 seconds if you're balancing on your right leg your left hand is touching your toe right good work good work now there is the option to use weight if you want to but you don't have to Three, two, and swap sides. Going right into the next side. And whatever we're doing, we are just reaching across our body. All right, left hand is reaching for the right toe or vice versa. Three, two, 
three, two, one, and rotate. All right, the next one is gonna be the dumbbell with or without good mornings. Three, two, one, begin. I'll tell you what was really nice jumping into the gym this weekend is just having, you know, the workout top to bottom, in and out, you know, under an hour. And uh, again, did not disappoint. Those devil press are those man makers on Friday, right? You guys were here on Friday. Woof. I have hey. never done that workout in that gym, but I have worked out in that exact workout room that you were in before. Really? Yeah. That was so cool. That's kind of neat. Three, two, one, and rotate. Yeah, go ahead and ditch the dumbbell. Take it to the floor. All right. Dumbbell slides in five seconds. In three, two, one, begin. Yeah, Derek, it was a nice, it was definitely a nice gym. You know, that was a fun thing. We did, uh, Ava had her jujitsu tournament on Saturday morning. And so to make a weight class, we went in there and sweated a little bit. And uh, she passed it with, I don't know what they call it, flying stars or whatever. But anyways, she did great. We got up really early. We were down there at like, you know, five o'clock in the morning, moving to sweat. And they had a nice sauna, good cardio equipment. All right, 10 seconds, everybody. Three, two, one and rotate all right we are back to the top okay right back to those single legged romanian deadlifts three two one begin okay so take your time with this it's really easy to go too fast and to get out of sync so we don't want to lose our balance we're gonna have control motor patterns. And this is where if we can't control it right now, we wanna go ahead and ditch the weight. But if we can, by all means, if we wanna to add to it, do it to it. Okay, three, two, one, and rotate. Three, two, one, and officially rotate to the new movement. Okay, here we go. Right back to your dumbbell good mornings in three, two, one, begin. So wide base, you guys. The first thing I want you guys to focus on is pushing your butt back as you keep that chest up, right? I'm gonna have that nice little arch. We call it a lower lumbar curve. And that's the first thing I want you guys to focus on, right? Rib cage is up. That's going to help keep that nice lower lumbar curve present. Take a deep breath. So, Chris, don't go too far, though. Yeah, don't go too far. Right there. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Hold that breath hard. Rib cage up. Then go down. Three, two, and rotate. All right, here we go. Let's take it back down to the deck for your dumbbell slides. Five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, begin. It's funny, Adair, I almost want to say I totally remember. Because I want to say you took a picture in that gym. But if you didn't, maybe I'm totally off. There we go. Nice and smooth. Okay, 20 seconds. I was telling Katie after we're done with kind of the events and everything, I was like, I think I want to be here for one more day because that would be cool just to hang out and read by the pool. Okay. Five seconds. Three, two, 
one and rotate. I got up early yesterday morning and went out for a walk. That was a pretty walk. All right, single legged Romanian deadlifts, two, one and begin. Yeah, I went down like Moana Street or something and it got real pretty down there. You know what I'm talking about, Eva, right? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was not the strip. So it was really cool as I walked in the morning. It's like, ah, oh, it's a neighborhood. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Three, two, one, and switch sides. What was funny the night before I went out for a walk and I kept on hearing these tires screeching and like tons of like smoke in the air. I was like, what is going on? These guys were like peeling out. It was like a whole car event, not like a, an official event. Yeah, it was so weird, but it was very cool to watch though, because I got there. And three, two, one, rotate. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and put those dumbbells behind your neck. Three, two, one, begin. All right, so take the time with these good mornings. Yep, hold that breath up. Hold that breath as you go down. If you feel any stretch in your back, we're going too far. So let's make sure we're not stretching the back or feeling like it's getting bendy. There we go. Okay. Three, two, one, and rotate. Let's go ahead and take it to the floor. All right, three, two, one, and begin. There we go, nice and smooth, you guys. Now, if we ever needed a alternate movement to this, shoulder taps would be a good one. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, rotate. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Let's go right back into those good, our single-legged Romanian deadlifts and begin. Okay, guys, we're gonna be here for 25 seconds. We'll swap to the other leg for the next 25 seconds. There we go, yeah, fight that balance, nice and smooth, controlled. Not too fast. Okay, 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and rotate. All right, going to the next side. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, let's go ahead and take it down. I'm um, taking it on your shoulders. Good mornings in three, two, and begin. All right, let's do it. Get right into those good mornings. Don't worry about how many you get. Stay in motion. Nice and smooth. Okay, 15 seconds. Three, 
two, one, rotate. All right, here we go. Let's take it to the floor. Dumbbell slides. Three, two, one, <laughs> and begin. That's okay, as long as we get it done. There we go. Nice and smooth, you guys. Here we go. Fifteen seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. Good work, you guys. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, put the dumbbells down, grab some water. Just kind of let that heart rate drop. Let those muscles rest. All right. So we're going to spend five sets. Let me kind of take it back one time. We're going to work for three minutes. Okay. So an upcoming full body workout. We're going to be working for three minutes at a time. We're going to have five total sets of this. And we're not going to have any rest in between the sets. So what it's going to look like is we're going to work for three minutes. We're going to do 20 of the alternating, we're going side to side with the hang dumbbell snatches. I want you guys to find a spot to step up on because we're gonna do 20 step ups, okay? So you guys know your, your living room, your garage better than I do. So pick up something that you want to um, step up on. And then for the remaining time, we're gonna do shuttle runs, okay? Shuttle runs are where I want you to find maybe a 10 meters or 10 yards, which is about 30 feet, or really whatever distance makes sense in your space. And we're simply going to be jogging back and forth, back and forth, right? So in the living room, we can do lateral shuffles, okay? If you have a longer space, right? Um, you can just run forward and back, turn around, forward and back. The main gist, you guys, is we're going in a short distance back and forth, back and forth for the remaining of the time. Once we exceed the three minutes, we're going to go right back into the next set. Okay. So real quick, you guys, let's get through our hang dumbbell snatches. So when we do our hang dumbbell snatches, I, I always like to teach it like this. It's, it's almost like a Russian single dumbbell Russian swing with a little bit of a harder thrust and a pull and a punch. Okay. Once we bring it down, I'm going to let my elbow drop. I'm going to let it swap into my other hand, let it drop by momentum. And we're just going to go side to side. Okay. So let's do this really quick. You guys grab your dumbbell. Let's go ahead and get three to four of these on each side. And then when you have your spot that you're going to step up on, I want you guys to go ahead and do two step ups per side, alternating step ups, because one, we want to practice the movement, but the rules of the step up or even a box jump are three things. Rule number one, eyes always on the target. Never take your eyes off the target. Rule number two, stand all the way up so those hips are fully extended and you can squeeze your glutes. And then rule number three is just step down opposed to, you know, jumping down. Okay. And then lateral shuffles is going to be the next thing. So really it's going to be anything from, you're gonna to touch the floor, side shuffle, touch the floor, side shuffle. Distance isn't really that important, meaning the bigger distance, shorter ones are totally fine too, as long as you're just going side to side, okay? All right, let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you don't have any questions, give me a thumbs up. All right. And we're going to start this party off then. Good work, good work. All right, everybody, here we go in three, two, one, begin. We're starting off with those hang dumbbell snatches going side to side. 
Now, the reason why I've put an alternating on this today is because we are swapping sides. There is times where we can keep it all on one side for 10 reps, and then we swap to the next side. But today we're going side to side. Just do one on your left, then you do one on your right. There we go. There we go, taking those times with those steps, standing all the way up. All right, and then once you guys are done with your step ups, going right into those shuffles. Okay. Take your time, right? Getting into those shuffles. We got about 45 seconds left in this minute or into this three minute time period. All right, 10 seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, and here we go. Right back into another set of snatches. Reminder, you guys, we're doing three total sets. I'm sorry, five total sets. That was dirty. That was not even on purpose, you guys. The three minutes, right? Five total sets, and we're starting round two right now. There we go. Remember, as those dumbbells come down, pull that dumbbell underneath your body into that hang. Thrust those hips. Pull and punch. Pull and punch. Good. So Chris, as you come down, swing it underneath your body so that chest stays up so it doesn't look like a deadlift. There we go. And then use those legs, you guys. It's almost like a jump, right? Keeping the feet flat, but it's like a jump and a punch. And then we'll go right into those step ups. So I always remind people about the rules about step ups just because it takes one time that we're not thinking about it, right? <laughs> I had a time that I was teaching an essentials at the time we were calling it CrossFit essentials. And I was teaching box jumps that day, step ups and box jumps. And I had box jumps in my workout and something happened and I missed it. And I'm like, well, this is going to be a real good teaching moment tonight. So you can see my shin of what not to do. So a little bit of humble pie. <laughs> nice work, you guys. All right, when you guys are done with that, let's get right into those lateral shuffles. 
make it a smooth lateral shuffle. Legs aren't crossing over each other. Feet are staying wide. Good work. All right, we have 10 seconds, everybody, until we swap over to round three. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. Good job, you guys. Keeping that midsection tight. Good, keeping them feet moving. Okay, keep that momentum going. Keep it flowing, guys. We got one minute till we rotate to the next set. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got about five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one. All right, everybody, grab your dumbbells and let's get right back into it. Now, I do know that they are hang dumbbell snatches. And normally what I would say is stand up, give that pause, then go right into those hangs. But if you want to just pick that dumbbell off the deck and go ahead and snatch that first one and then go into those hangs. Remember, let those legs soften just a little bit, guys. We do want those knees to have a little bit of a break, a little bit of a bend, so those hamstrings don't get too stretched, too tight, which then in turn hits that back, okay? The moment that we bend those knees, it alleviates that back. All right. Good work. Good transition.
Okay. <clears throat> Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, keep it going, guys. Keep it flowing. 40 seconds. Here we go, five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, and here we go. All right, right back into it. It's our last set. Good, work with that flow, going right back into that next snatch. Stay with that momentum, keep that midsection tight. All right, everybody, we have one more minute. Thirty seconds. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Almost there, everybody. Here we go in five, 
four, three, and stop. Good job. Okay. So that last piece, if we were tracking, all we did was scoring reps. And essentially, we're going to score the reps of the shuttle run. So that's kind of a shaky one on that one, you guys. But if you happen to be counting your, 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 your lengths, that's awesome. But definitely want to know what size dumbbell you were using. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So what we always do, you guys, on a Monday is let's all go into the chat. And I'd love to know, you guys, what is our focus going to be this week when it comes to our personal goals? What is our focus this week? Now, it's a repetitive thing that I always ask, but it's really, really important that we go in with an intention opposed to just, I don't know, I'll just see what happens, right? That's probably not a really good plan. So when we can focus on you guys on one to three things on what we want to do for us, the more we think about it, the more likely we're going to be focusing on it, right? So let's just say that you're really focusing on you know, getting all your water in, right? We have some people in this group right now that are doing um, that six-week program. It's not too late also, if any of you guys want to know about it, but um, it's not too late. Um, but what you focus on the most, you guys, that's, that the intention is going to be a lot higher of completing it, right? So whatever your intention is, you focus, you complete it. Good, 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 good. Awesome. Good work. All right. So Dan says, stick with Scott's program. Scott's just wrote his program. Stan's going to stick to my diet, my nutrition. Tina, stick to nutrition plan and not miss an exercise. I like it. I like it. So I like the theme right now, you guys. Perfect. Good. And it lets me know, guys, just kind of how to think about you guys during the week also. So, all right. Well, let's get this going, you guys. We're going to finish off. And every minute on the minute, okay, we're going to do 30 Russian twists. And then what we're going to do with what with the remaining time, excuse me, with the minute is we're going to hold a tuck hold. We're going to hold the tuck hold. We're going to do a max tuck hold. So let's get to the floor. Russian twist. Remember, we're going to be sitting down on the floor going side to side. Each side counts as one. And you can use a weight or no weight. And then once we're done, we're going to hold those knees sitting up tall and bring those knees to the chest. And we're just going to simply hold that tuck. Okay. All right, everybody. Last five minutes of the morning. Let's get going in three, two, one, begin. Okay, well, here we go. Again, 30 total, 15 per side. Good, 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 good. Keep it moving, you guys. Three, two, one, and here we go. Let's go right back to those Russian twists, side to side. Good work, good work. Good morning, guys. Okay, 20 more seconds, everybody. If you need to put your hands on the floor as you bring your knees to the chest, that's helpful and totally permittable. 
All right, five seconds, everybody. In three, two, one, rotate. Going right back into our Russian twist. You got it, you got it. Sitting up tall, remember you gotta brace those midsections tight, right? Then you're gonna get that, rover, you know, the movement in your spine, we call it a transverse rotation. We just keep those abs tight. We don't wanna reach and stretch those backs. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go right into that tuck hold. There we go. Come on, keep it moving. All right, 10 seconds. Good work. Hold those knees if needed. Push those hands on the floor as you bring your knees up if needed. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. Okay, here we go. Now, if that lower back starts to kind of blow up just a little bit, guys, by all means, go right into sit-ups if you need to kind of stretch it out a little bit. <clears throat> all right. So Adair's answer was this week, get to the Cairo. Oh, is this Dan working on your fishing elbow or Adair? Okay, we're trying, working on Adair's fishing elbow and her lower back. All right. And there's something about it, you guys. The moment that we say something out loud or type it, you know, or, you know, I was going to say share it with somebody else, there's a likelihood it's going to happen also. So focus, sharing, ups that ante on getting it done. Okay, here we go in three, two, one, and rotate one last time, you guys. It is our last set. I can, I can resend it to you. Okay, everybody, we have 15 seconds. Good work, good work. Sitting up tall. Five seconds. In three, two, one, and stop. Nicely done, everybody. Good job, way to check off your Monday. Let's come on in here, let's get our group photo. Okay, we saw, we conquered. And now we're gonna go start our day. All right, here we go. Get it up there, get those arms up. Griff is back in the room. Here we go in three, two, one. Good work. All right, Chris, Stan, Adair, Adair, Dan, Dan, Tina, Eva, have a great day. I'll see you guys on Wednesday, and Charlie will see you tomorrow. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. See you guys. Thank you. Bye.